Hello students, welcome to your new online class. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing well and feeling okay, feeling healthy. Um, I'm just going to leave a video. My dog might jump in. This is my dog, Oreo. Oreo, say hi. He'll be our new teaching assistant for the rest of the semester. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about where I put everything on the course. Hopefully this will be helpful to you. I'll probably do a video like this for every week, and I might add additional videos explaining um, the papers and assignments, but they're not required. These are just helpful for you. So if for some reason the videos aren't working, um, you can just reach out to me if you have questions or anything like that. Um, or if the videos are pausing for you because of Wi-Fi, anything. I can explain the same information in a variety of ways. So let's see here. Um, first of all, I have this disclaimer here. I know that none of you signed up for an online course, so you're not required to have online technology or access to do an online course. Um, I understand that. That's that's not what you signed up for. So if something about the internet is not working for you, um, or or um, you need additional, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, if you need additional support or any modifications, I'm happy to help you with that. Oreo, okay, sit, sit. Um, I'm happy to change anything for you. If you need to mail me your papers handwritten in the mail, that's fine. We can do whatever it needs. I want you to be successful in the class. I don't want you to feel like you have to drop it and lose all the work that you've done so far. So just talk to me. Um, you'll see here that we have an announcements category. I've put the email I sent to you. I'll try to just add any announcements for the course in here. Questions and concerns. I have... Um, Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> um, I've gone ahead and put all of the concerns that you had about um, everything you put in the survey. I have tried to answer those questions for all of you on here. So let me just adjust this a little bit so you guys can still see me. Um, I clearly have a million things on my screen right now, but here we go. So I put everything on there so that you guys can find that and access it. Um, so all your questions should be answered. Feel free to add more questions on there if you would like. Um, in addition, I've deleted everything from before spring break as to not confuse you. I've also added an updated syllabus. I actually have it right here, so we'll just move the at here. Um, this is your updated syllabus. Let's see, I've tried to include pretty detailed instructions. Um, your first week back, we'll have a peer review session on Moodle. Um, that's my dog jingling in the background <laughs> once again. So you'll have a peer review session on Moodle. You have three days to submit your... Um, draft that you've been working on, hopefully. If you are feeling stuck because of such a long break, please reach out to me and let me help you with this. You'll have three days to submit the draft, and then you'll have, I think it's three days to um, give feedback to two of your peers, and then you'll have an additional three days. The paper will be due the following week on Wednesday. Everything will be due at 11.59 p.m. at night. Um, just so you know. I'm trying to make most things due on Sunday, but of course, some things, just because of the amount of time we have, I'll have to make some things less. Um, let's see here. So I'm also going to be doing reflection posts. Those will be only visible by me. That will just be a place where you can ask me questions about your paper, tell me what's working for you on the online site and what's not. Um... I do need you to get me your final journals. Sorry. <laughs> I do need you to get your journals into me. We won't have any journals moving forward, but I want to give you the grade for what you have done so far. Um, there's a few ways to do that below, which I'll get to, but I want those by April 5th if possible. If you need an extension on that, just let me know. I do want to be as flexible and compassionate as possible. So if any of these dates are stressing you out, please don't hesitate to just talk to me about it. Um, so your genre analysis paper will be due on Wednesday, April 8th at 11.59 p.m. 
you have a couple days open to submit that. Again, let me know if you need an extension. Um, then you will have a reading. I've taken out unnecessary readings and just brought it to a couple that I think are really going to help you with the papers. Um, and then the second week, week 12, April 6th to 12th, um, you know what? I'm just going to explain that when we get there, but you have it here for when you need. The This is the info for your journals. You can either screenshot every page and send it to me so I can see my initial marks. I clearly did things. I set everything up for a very in-person structure, so it's going to be a little bit of a headache. You, the campus is still open, so you are welcome to go and put this journal in my box if that's easier and you have access to campus, or you can take a video or screenshots of the pages. If I already gave you a grade, please just take a screenshot of the last page with that grade and then send me that in an email. Your attendance grade is going to be exactly what it was. I'm just going to give you that final grade for the course. So whatever it was at the point of our last session will be the grade you have. So you don't have to worry about absences moving forward or whatever. Whatever that would even mean online. We'll be doing peer review online. You'll have reflection posts and discussion posts. I'll try not to make these um, every week. Um, or I'll try to do like one or the other because I don't want to give you an unnecessary amount of work. Papers and instructions. Um, for our current paper, not a lot is going to change. We should already be working on this. You already have an outline and a first paragraph. So I feel confident that we can finish this. And if you need help, um, just reach out to me. <laughs> My dog is a very big cuddler. Um... For the additional papers, I'm going to be lowering the page number and requirements and trying to make it just a little bit easier and less stressful for you. Um, office hours are probably not going to be held in my office for the remainder of the semester, so just feel free to email me. We can do virtual meetings whenever, or um, I can respond to emails, and I, I should be able in the week to respond to emails within three to four hours. On the weekends, it might take me longer, but maybe not if I'm just stuck at home in quarantine. Um, or you'll stop. Late work policies will remain the same, but I'll be flexible if you um, can't make something work. So unless you reach out to me, late work policies will remain the same. But please reach out to me if you have to, because... Um, I am happy to modify things, so just let me know if you need extensions. Um, above all else, I really want to be flexible. I know that this is a headache and it's not what you signed up for. Some of you are moving um, off campus. Some of you have a lot of other stuff going on with work and family, so I just want to help in whatever way and make the course as compassionate and flexible as possible. Um, let's go back back to this for a moment and see if we can I can just make sure you guys are seeing everything correctly okay so you have this updated syllabus and policies questions and concerns announcement this is your survey that I sent you via email everything is down here everything for your genre analysis paper is right here all of the texts that we were using, the guidelines, peer review feedback form is the same. This is where you'll be doing the peer review. This is your reflection post to me that only I will see at the end of the week. That's all we're doing on the first week back. Um, I'll upload another video explaining what's happening on the second week, but when you guys come back on March 30th, this is all we need to be focused on, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you need any additional help accessing this or getting things done. I look forward to still being able to work with you guys, and I hope that I can create an online environment that is going to work for all of us.